Hi, my name is Antonio Edward, and I'm going to discuss Link Online and how you can uh, make sure that the Federation is uh, enabled as well as Public IM. Just to show you really quick, a Public IM is, um, allows you to communicate to Windows Live users. Now, this is for Office 365. If you have an on premise Link server, you don't need to, uh, uh, you will have to set it up for Yahoo, Google, and other IM clients out there. But um, when it comes to public IM on Office 365, you're going to be able to talk to several uh, Windows Live user clients. Also, when you're talking to Windows Live user clients that have uh, vanity domains, then there are special ways uh, to do that. And uh, I'll explain that right now. Now, um, when you're um, when you want to talk to a Windows Live user, these are the domains that Windows Live or Microsoft owns for Windows Live Messenger. You get all the Hotmail accounts, you have all the Lives, you have the MessengerUser.com, MSN.com, and remember MSN.com are those who had uh, Microsoft DSL and you have Passport.com um, and many many others WebTV.com a lot of users who have WebTV back in the days still have that domain because uh, it was a Microsoft uh, uh, domain and uh, they still are using that uh, particular domain WindowsLive.com and WindowsLive.es a lot of these are discontinued but again there are st still a lot of users using it if you want more information about this um, you can always go to the Microsoft Office help and how to and it will explain to you everything you need to know about public IM connectivity and domain name federation okay but um, I want to get into that right now so as you can see there's a lot of different IDs you can uh, get into now if you want to talk to a user who uses Windows Live but they have their vanity domain attached um, basically it won't happen unless they add an SRV record to their DNS. 24 hours later, the Windows Live user, let's say it's uh, it could be Joe at mycompany.com or theircompany.com. They will have to add this uh, SRV record to their DNS record, okay, to their DNS. And once they do this, then the Windows Live will be able to propagate and communicate to uh, Microsoft Link users online. Okay, this is the only way. Now, the second, well, it's not the only way, but this is the best way. Now, the second way is uh, you will have to put Joe parenthesis their company dot com in the parenthesis at msn.com this will work now remember this is for vanity domains only you know Joe at theircompany.com you will have to format it like this Joe parenthesis theircompany.com for in the parenthesis at msn.com okay now um, this particular KB article is number two five six six eight two nine in support.microsoft.com slash kb slash 2566829 and this will explain how you can communicate to external contacts that are not owned by uh, Windows Live or uh, Microsoft um, domains okay now um, this is good information because when you set up your link these settings in here are disabled okay when you go into your uh, Microsoft link control panel and this is how you do it first you click on admin and then underneath where it says link online you want to click on manage okay now here domain federation shows enabled and public IM connectivity is enabled as well now how do you adjust that well by default it will be disabled so what you have to do is click on edit and this is where 
you have your selections. Allow federation with all domains except those I block. Block federation with all domains except those I allow. And disable federation. Now if I have allow federation and I notice that a lot of my employees are talking to a particular company that we are in competition with, what we can do is add that domain their company dot com and so this is the best solution for this if you want to open up your federation to anybody but you just want to block a certain company or maybe a competitor or competitors this would be a good way to do it and now they can talk to anybody who uses Microsoft link but their company dot com is now blocked now if you click on public I am you see I have several domains here but if I um, enable and disable it this will allow, will allow me to talk to Windows Live users if I disable I will not be able to talk to Windows Live users now when you first set up your account if you do want this uh, functionality you want to enable this right away it does take 24 hours for this function to work it takes about five minutes up to an hour for do domain federation to start working now let's say you want to determine certain users like I don't want my mother this <laughs> this is my mother here me and my wife uh, we run a company this is her second one but I, I don't want this user and that user to have domain federation or public I am so all I have to do is um, I do want them to have file transfers and audio video, but I don't want them to have domain federation or public IM. Now you notice, okay, hit cancel here. You notice that I was able to select m multiple users before I click on edit user. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, this is uh, allows you to select your options and actually work with your link so that I can talk to Windows Live user. This is my wife's account and this is Windows Live and this is my account on Windows Live. This is also my account on Windows Live and this is my link account which is on the same domain as her. Okay. Now if I wanted to I can always add another domain to this account where that user is able to uh, talk to her because I'm using her computer right now <laughs> so now um, domain names is all set right here I can turn off functionalities for link if I if I want people in this domain to talk to link or not now keep in mind that in order for that to work you need to add the following DNS records. Okay, so that domain's been verified, and that's good. So uh, what you want to do is, if you want the settings for your domain, you want to click on Domains on the left-hand side, and then click on the domain that you want to check, and then click on DNS settings. This will tell you the um, settings it needs for Exchange, but you notice that the domain doesn't show information for link that's because if you click on edit domain intent link is turned off now let's go to a domain that has everything turned on you notice this is link in exchange that's a good thing now SRV records SIP Federation TLS underscore SIP Federation TLS and then underscore TCP 5061 wait one priority 100 one hour time to live uh, my domain name and then the targets to SIPFed.online.link.com and then there are two C name records now if you had an Office 365 account before this month um, the required SRV record was also SRV underscore SIP underscore TLS 443 1 100 1 hour your domain sip dot 
online.link.com. That is also good. Both of those records are accurate. The new one is you can add the C name, which is sip dot your domain dot your uh, top level domain, and then sip dot online dot link dot com one hour time to live, and then you have link discover dot your domain dot top level domain, and then it's web dot online dot link dot com. Now this particular record allows your mobile phone to have link online, and so if you download the link client for iPhone. Android, Windows Phone 7, and there are other clients out there, other devices that uh, Link will support. You'll be able to download it and install it on your phone, but this will have to be added to your DNS record in order for it to work. You will need this record, okay? This allows discovery on mobile devices. This is all your exchange records, and so you got you got to make sure that if you want to have full functionality of your Link this record right here is very important auto discover this allows not just outlook to discover itself but also other devices to discover that there is an exchange account that's connected to this link and also sharepoint uses this record as well then you got the text record that you need to add and also the mail record okay which is outlook.com so um that's pretty much how Link works, and um, and you can uh, do domain federation that way. If you need any assistance with uh, any error messages that you get in Link, uh, there are several articles in the knowledge base. Now, you, if you don't remember numbers, just remember this: Link authentication. Okay, you go to support.microsoft.com, do a search for Link authentication, press enter. And the first thing that shows up is the article that I want. It's 2541980. And you scroll down and look for your error message. Now this is if you can't sign into Link. Okay? This is um in not this does not include any errors that you get while you're in Link. Okay? It's just sign in errors. And uh this will explain to you what you can do to fix that error. And of course if if it all fails then come down to the bottom where it says diagnose authentication issues by using Mosdal and Snooper download Mosdal you can also download Snooper but download Mosdal and uh, run Mosdal collect these logs if you want to look at and see why these logs you know why it's happening it will explain to you why it's happening and if you need to you can escalate it to technical support for them to escalate Okay. Um, if they if you need to do so. So these are all the um, the different uh, avenues for link. Uh, you know, for as far as domain federation and uh, domain federation and and public IM. And if you want to uh, get more information about that, you can always go to this. Knowledge Base article support.microsoft.com slash kb slash two five six six seven nine zero and this right here will give you the records that you need okay and also how to look it up in NS lookup in DOS so these are the records that you need in order for you to have domain name federation to make sure that link works period with link online and then this will also allow link to work and then you also need the the, uh, the CN, DNS record, C name record for mobile phones, which is right here. Okay, and uh, I think that's it. Uh, my name is Antonio Edward, and talk to you later.